Hey guys, and welcome to another Michael's haul. I really didn't expect to be making another one already. I'm not really sure what even brought me to the website. It might have been the lowest prices of the season. And I was looking to see if there was anything on sale that I wanted. And there wasn't as far as that particular sale, but I discovered that they had put more of their Halloween items on the website for shipping, including the stamp sets that I wanted. And a lot of them were on some kind of sale. Now this will be missing an item. I will add a picture of it because I'm filming this before it arrives. If you saw my October daily video, you will know that I I'm waiting on the romantic Halloween washi, so that will be hauled in absentia <laughs> during this haul. So most of what I picked up was Halloween related. I did pick up a couple of other things, so let's get into it. So the first non-Halloween item that I picked up was this Fisker's Corner Rounder. I used the 30% off coupon to grab it. I don't remember the exact price, but I believe it was $13.99 after the discount. I picked it up because I've been relying on the corner rounder that is on my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch and it's starting to die. <laughs> I use that thing for rounding corners more than I use it for making envelopes. It's starting to get pretty dull. It leaves notches and little flaky bits of paper and I've tried sharpening it but the only way I know how to sharpen it is to punch through some tinfoil a few times. But because it's a corner rounder you have to put a corner of tinfoil in there and because tinfoil doesn't have that much support to it, it just crinkles up and doesn't punch. So I picked this one up. It gives you two options for sizes. We'll see how it goes. I just want a corner rounder that actually punches all the way through the paper. <laughs> Update. This sucks. One out of ten would not recommend. If I had known it was this bad, I wouldn't have purchased it. It's okay for punching the wider corner, which is the one I have it on right now. The smaller corner punches terribly. Way worse than my Weird Memory Keepers punch board. And then on top of that, the chamber that catches the cutoffs is there. That's the orange and silver thing. It's pretty much impossible to get to it to empty it. So like, what happens when it fills up? I found a YouTube video explaining how you pull these apart and it's supposed to come apart, but someone commented and said they tried it and it broke. And then you, you have to go in and unscrew some stuff in here. Like occasionally a little bit of fallout like right there because I bumped it. But for the most part, you don't have any way to get the pieces out. So if anyone has any recommendations for a good corner rounder that doesn't cost a bazillion dollars, I'll get back to the video. The next non-Halloween item I picked up was this Pumpkin Vines Toba Shelf Paper Pad. It was another hot buy, which here in Canada are $12. It was not on the website the last time I looked, or it was, but it wasn't available to ship. But now it was. It's the only fall theme pad that I have seen this year that I was really interested in because it is a different color scheme. It's blues and creams and golds, and I just think that that's really kind of unique. And then these four rolls of ribbon that I got are sort of kind of Halloween themed. Basically, I was looking to see if they had any Halloween themed ribbon on the website. They didn't. So then I just looked for ribbon because I'm working on some projects. They're almost done. Someday I'll get back to actually posting project shares and not just haul videos for the rest of eternity. Basically, some of the projects I'm working on right now, I want to use some ribbon. But the Halloween ribbon I have is either too cutesy, not the right shade of whatever that I need, or I just don't have any plain ribbon in those shades. And the normal skinny ribbon at Michael's was on sale for $1.99 each, and usually they're $4.99 each. So I picked up four rolls. I grabbed this red, uh, gross grain, grove grain, I don't know how you pronounce that, with white stitching. That's just for Christmas and Valentine's. I just wanted to grab something to have it on hand for the next upcoming crafting seasons. I also grabbed the same type of ribbon in black for both Halloween and just to have some neutral black ribbon that doesn't have Halloween on it. I grabbed black satin ribbon. Again, I just don't have any plain black ribbon. And then the last roll was this plum color, it's like a dark purple. They had a lighter purple too, like a brighter purple. But this I think will go really well with some of my projects. So yeah, it was just, this is not Halloween related specifically, but three out of four of them were purchased for Halloween related projects. So that's the last non-Halloween item that I grabbed. And now I will show you the Halloween stuff that I grabbed. So I broke my no washi rule times two. As I mentioned, I'm waiting on the romantic Halloween washi. And then I saw this and I wasn't planning on buying any washi other than the pink one. 
but this goes with those two 8x8 paper pads and the coordinating sticker book that I already purchased. I can't remember if this was on sale. I feel like it was because everything else I picked up was. I broke my no washi rule just like I broke my no paper rule for this year. I also broke my no stamp rule. <laughs> my no paper rule was just for this year because I have so much Halloween paper, but I'm also making good progress killing a bunch off, so it's not a big deal. My no washi rule and my no stamp rule was any washi or stamp in general because I don't use them. I don't know if it's because I'm shopping online. I think I do better when I shop in person because I throw everything that looks remotely like something I'd want into my cart and then I sit there for an hour going, do I really want this? I'd rather get this, and if I don't get this, I can afford the other thing. And I t I've noticed when I do look at stamps at Michael's 9 times out of 10, I'll put them back because I'll be like, I don't use the ones I have already, why am I buying this? So I don't know if it was just because I'm online or because I know I'm not going to Michael's, so this is the only way I'm going to get any of the new Halloween stuff. I don't know. But I mentioned in my last haul that I fell madly in love with this sketchy one. I just think it's adorable. So I knew when I saw that was available to ship, I was going to pick that up. And then I just couldn't help myself. This one's so cute. And I think too, even though like technically this one in particular is like a coloring stamp, and I mentioned I don't want to buy those because I don't color, I find because they're Halloween stamps, they can be black and white. They don't have to be colored in and bright and all that stuff. And it's nice to have some more Halloween sentiment stamps as well. So these stamp sets were normally $14.99 and they were on sale for, I believe, $8.39 each. They also suddenly had all of the like creatology kids crafting stuff available. I grabbed these just because I thought like those, particularly the stickers that have um, like sayings on them were really cute and they were on for buy one get one so I grabbed them because they were on essentially for half price if I got a second item. So I grabbed one of the packs of gems. <laughs> if you know from last year I had quite a few of the packs of gems. I think I purchased one or two of them and then I also received uh, one or two of them in happy mail. So I am rolling in purple, orange, and black gems. So the only reason I grabbed this one is because the purple seems to be a lighter shade than what came in the package last year. And then also the green is a really light shade. That's my justification for that. <laughs> and then just as they had more crafting items unexpectedly available to ship, they suddenly had a lot more home decor. They did have quite a few items that were both available to ship and buy one get one. So I ended up picking up two items. They were $12.99 each. I just thought this was really cute, this home sweet haunted home. You know, it's like subtle, but it's also Halloween-y. And then I also grabbed this piece with the BOGO. You can see here, it's like cut out. I think this is really cute. This is something I'd probably leave out all year because it's so pretty. And that's it for my second Michael's Halloween haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please give it a share. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that little bell in the corner to be notified when I next upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one.